Hello and welcome everyone. It is Wednesday, February 14th, 2018. New comics book day. Best day of the week. Uh, I just want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Hope your day is going well. Uh, before I get into my new books, quick shout out this week to a uh, fellow Canadian, Geekery with Dante D. Uh, I really like his channel. He's got some good uh, videos on there. And I've been binge watched a few of his videos over the last couple days, and uh, it's a good, good one on Rob Liefeld, whether he's good or bad, and all that kind of stuff, and what your opinion is. Another good one on the um, Edgar Church and the Mile High uh, comic collection. It's a really good story. I, mean, I kind of knew the story, but it was good to kind of a different angle on it. So, anyways, Geekery Don D, check him out. Really good channel. Uh, I got a few. Uh, I'm going to start with my books that. This uh, Thanos second print is for number 13. I mentioned this a little while ago. I got two copies of uh, number 13. They came in just after I did my video last week, so I just held on to them this week. But um, yeah, the, the nice thing with these is the print runs are really low and they're a completely different cover. And obviously it's the first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider and he's on the cover in this one too. So that's a good one to get. If you can get those, try to pick those up because they're gonna go up in value. Usually second prints don't uh, go up too much, but those ones I, th I think will anyway. So, uh, and also I got the second print of number fourteen, and again that's another completely different cover, um, and again a, a low print run on that, so good one to get. Also, I ordered this uh, call the Suicide Force. I know you got a lot of you guys have seen that, and a lot of other people have talked about it. I actually being in Canada, one of the problems is sometimes I order stuff, and it takes forever for stuff to get here. And I ordered this one before it actually was released and I just got it yesterday so anyways that's a good one to get Call of Suicide Force number one if you can and let's get into this week's books uh, talking about second prints I got uh, Ice Cream Man second print came out today number one um, that again is a completely different cover and I, I really like that series that's a series I'm gonna keep going with so if you can get that second print get it because it's uh, it's pretty good I like it Got some weird, uh, I think I that's kind of got some weird staining on the cover of that one. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I'll have to check that out. But anyways, uh, I got Rumble number one. I got both covers. I like that series. I like the artwork in that too. So it's uh, it's not bad. Number one. I just got back from the shop, so I haven't even had a chance to read any of these books yet. You got Dark Fang number four. I like that one. That's the kind of that vampire uh, storyline, so I like that. Death of Love number one came out, ironically, on Valentine's Day, so I've had to pick that up. Couldn't pass that one up. Get all the number ones. And the new Mark Millar uh, kick ass was out today, and there's a ton of covers for this. I picked up a bunch. I got the regular cover. There, this is an honorable mention, by the way. I got uh, the black and white variant. I got the blank cover, I got uh, whatever that cover is, and I also got that one there. So five covers in total. I think there's there's a couple limited variant ones, and uh, I didn't, my shop didn't have those, so I didn't grab those, but um, the original Kick-Ass was pretty good. And like I say, I, I mentioned in one of my first videos I did, Mark Millar, Millar World was bought out by Netflix. So who knows what's gonna happen with that down the road. Um, they've already done some kick-ass movies and stuff, so who knows, but uh, that's a good one to get. That's some honorable mention this week, so try and get that one if you can. That's it for Image. Uh, next up is some uh, Marvel. Picked up Star Wars Thrawn number one. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but uh, that one looks kind of interesting and number one, so I grabbed it. X-Men Blue 21. It's a... Uh, X-Men Blue Annual came out a few weeks ago. That was the first part of that Poison X crossover between Venom and X-Men. So uh, that's the, the first part of that, uh, or the first issue in the X-Men Blue series as part of that crossover. Weapon X-14, been going with that one for quite a while. The next cover, number 15, has got a really cool saber-toothed uh, uh, Wolverine cover on it. It looks awesome. Spider-Gwen 28, I think that one came out last week. I asked for that one, but my shop didn't have it, so they got it for me this week. It's a continuation of that Gwenham storyline. Old Man Hawkeye number two was out this week. Kind of liking that story. It's not too bad. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 42, or annual number 42. It's 
two different covers for that, so I grabbed a both a huge Spider-Man fan, as you all know. So I got both of those. I picked up Old Man Logan number 35, which I really like this series. It's a good series. I got the regular, and I also got the um, the variant for that. That's a cool looking, cool looking variant. All the covers on this Old Man Logan have been really good, so that's a good one to get. I'm trying to pick up all the all of those. Uh, Avengers 680 is out. Um, there's at the back of this book you see hints that the Hulk is coming back. And issue 684 is the return of the Hulk. So if you're not buying the series, or if you are buying the series, make sure you keep going with it. If you're not, I'd recommend picking up 684. That's going to be a good one to get. Um, so one of my another honorable mention this week is uh, Marvel 2 and 1. Number three, uh, especially this uh, Young Guns cover. I get, as you know, I got all the I got the Young Guns uh, X23 variant last week, and the Rogue one the week before, and this week I got the thing. Uh, these are all jumping up in price quite a bit. So if you can get these, get them. I get them for cover price just because my sh I buy it, spend a ton at my shop. So uh, yeah, if you can if you can get that one, that uh, that is one of my picks of the week this week. I said honorable mention, but that's a pick of the week. So I got two picks this week. So we'll definitely try and get that if you can. And with some DC, I got uh, a couple copies of the reprint of uh, Teen Titans number 12. First appearance, full appearance of Batman Who Laughs. Can't go wrong with that. That one, I don't know, I, you know how much that's going to jump up just because it's the same cover. Um, Depends what happens. If the character ends up being really big ten years from now, then that's going to be worth a fair amount. But it'll never be as worth as the first, as much as the first cover, anyways. Uh, Action Comics nine ninety seven. I got both covers, and I think that is regular. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the variant, and that's the regular cover there. So I got those. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on much past a thousand, but I'll definitely buy up to a thousand. And for a thousand, there's a ton of variants. There's a cover for each decade, which is kind of a cool way to do it. Uh, Detective Comics, uh, regular and variant. Uh, we'll see what happens. I like to say I haven't read it, but Clayface was shot in the head in the last issue, so we'll see what happens with this one. Or in the uh, yeah, in the last issue. Gotham City Garage number nine. Picked that up today. Um, sideways number one was out so I got a couple copies of that and another honorable mention is um, Suicide Squad number 35 there's two covers for that I'm seeing the prices on this variant jumping up quite a bit I don't know if it was a really low print run on that variant but uh, if you can get the variant get it and I mentioned that there's a new character introduced in here so I am going to open this up and show you so be warned now this whole issue is kind of a kind of a poke at Donald Trump. It's Drain the Swamp is the name of it. And the new character is called The Wall. Um, so it says there are many, many bad people out there who want to injure us, to harm us. And let me tell you, promise you, I will not allow that to happen. It goes on. We will make America safe again. So it's a whole poke at Donald Trump. Apparently this new character, even though Amanda Waller's nickname is The Wall, uh, this new character is the wall, so whether or not that it's supposed to be a, a character in the DC universe, whether or not it he is or not, I don't know. But uh, and prices are staying. I haven't seen them jumping up much on this, other than the uh, other than the variant. For some reason, like I say, I think it's a lower print run, but uh, the prices on that are jumping up quite a bit. So, anyways, and my last pick of the week, I got two picks. Like I say, I got this one and the. Uh, is Dark Knight's Rising the Wild Hunt, uh, another foil cover. All the foil cover one-shots from Red Death uh, right up to Batman Who Laughs have all done really well. And I can't see uh, any reason why this wouldn't, especially with Batman Who Laughs right on the cover there and his evil Robins. So, um, yeah, that's my other pick of the week this week. So, two picks, got that one. And Marvel 2 and 1, the Young Guns variant. I've got, I'm trying to hopefully get all those Young Gun variants. I really like those, so... Uh, yeah, that's it for this week. Just real quick in the background, I got uh, Fantastic Four number 52, first appearance of the Black Panther, and then I've also got um, Black Panther number one. I'm pretty sure this came out in the 70s. When does that come out? Yeah, 70 July of or January of 77.
Black Panther movie out this week. Looks really good. I uh, hope you guys can try and guys and girls can try and to get into that one. Uh, those are some good books to get if you can. Um, prices are jumping up on those, obviously. And next week, I don't think I need to tell you, Spider-Man 796 is out. First, probably going to be the first appearance of the Red Goblin. I know some people were saying the last issue was. I disagree. I think it's just Carnage and Osborn getting the Carnage suit on them. Next week, you'll actually see uh, the Red Goblin probably right at the end of the book. So I don't think I need to tell you to get into your shop Wednesday morning and pick that up if you haven't got it pulled already on your sub, on your, uh, sub list. So, Anyways, that's it for this week. See you next week. Take care. Bye.